Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword 4, the Angel of Death. We're in some sort of very dimly lit ruin, or yeah, something like that, Templar ruin. Uh, we've got something on the floor down here, uh, which it looks like some sort of symbol or something. There's also a fallen statue here, and some sort of button that we can't press, but it has a handprint on it. So, uh, I'm a little bit lost. We we don't really have anything to interact with here, which makes me think maybe we've got to. It's kind of creepy down here, don't you think? Chat to Hope Anna you're Maria. Not scared of rats. No. Ha! Me? Never. Uh, you didn't see any, did you? <laughs> I'm not scared of rats, but George most certainly is by the looks of things. Um, right. Given that it's seemingly a Templar ruin, I'm wondering if the manuscript page is going to have some sort of use here. Okay, well, we can't show her the, the, the menu. Okay, here we go. So, we're over here, aren't we? Wasn't this the, the bit we were at? Constantinople. Yeah, so are we down here, maybe? It's the angel referred to in the manuscript. The angel. Okay, so we've, we've got all of these things as well. It so let's. Below the fortress of the one true patriarch awaits the angel, for he who is worthy and follows the path of the righteous. Okay, so that's where we are now, right? It reads, The first, find the knights who share a horse and grasp the stone to open the way. Right, so that sounds like what we've got to do. Find the knights who share the horse and then grasp the stone to find the way. Um, that looks like a horse, doesn't it? That looks like a horse's tail and some hooves and things there. I can't see that there's knights sharing the horse, though. And then grasp the stone. So I'm guessing it's... I'm guessing this is the stone, but... It doesn't seem to be any obvious way of, of pressing it. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Uh, okay. I think, didn't we try to get Anna Maria to, to use this last time? Okay, hit the button. Sure. So we can move around while she's doing this. So I wonder if it's like a case of just waiting by the door. Ready? Yeah. Press the Here button. Goes. Press it. Nothing. Something's missing. Something's missing. Okay. Can we... Have we got, like, any handles or anything like that in here? I don't think so. We've got a paper clip. We've got the golf club. Um, let's, let's... It reads, The first, find the knights who share a horse and grasp the stone to open the way. Okay, what does the second one say? It reads, The second, address the arms upon the shields and close the circle for the knights to let you pass. Right, so that doesn't sound relevant. So it's the first one. So these are the... These are the knights who share the horse, I'm guessing. I don't see anything else around here. There are these things, but it doesn't look like you can interact with them. Is there another another knight somewhere? Or like another horse? I'm not seeing one. I don't know why I'm clicking as well. It's much easier just to use the keyboard. Um, I mean, we can't even like drag this around or anything, which is a bit weird. We can't interact with this. So, I mean, can we... Do we have to do something to this while she's pressing the button? Okay, hit the button. Sure. I mean, it does look like there's some sort of lines on it. So I don't know if if that's like a crack or Ready? something. Here goes. Oh. Oh, okay. Um Did I click on something here? Uh int Oh, hang on. Right. Maybe, I don't know if this is right, maybe there's only one knight on here and we've become a second knight by being on it. That is literally the only thing I can think of there, that we're now two knights on the horse and then someone presses the button. Possibly, because a lot of these puzzles do seem to need two people, don't they? So that is literally the only thing I can think of. It is very dark down here. Oh, thank God, a light room. <laughs> thank God, because, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm struggling to make out some of this stuff on the screen in that previous area, so God knows what it'd been like for you guys. I might have to do some some post-recording trickery. Uh, what is this? 
Something about a circle. Knight holding a shield. Knight holding a shield. The shield looks like a riddle. Okay. So it looks like it's got the symbols on there. The star, the moon, the cross. I can't make out the, the far right one, but obviously... Ah, so we, I guess, want cross, star, moon, cross. Cross, star, moon, cross. Is there another statue around that has that on it? Uh, in fact, it doesn't look like there is much else in this room, other than these things, but we can't interact with those. What? What is this hole down here? Nothing, apparently. Okay, well maybe we have to do something to this shield? Can we... Okay, we don't seem to be able to... Ah! Okay. Hang on. Move first. Ah, okay, right, so we're rotating them. So was it, uh, let's leave for a sec. Was it cross, cross, star, moon, cross. Cross, star, moon, cross. Cross, star, moon. I don't know why you can't, it, it's a bit weird that you can't just click on the actual block to move it, rather than, you know, clicking these. Anyway, cross, star, moon, cross. Uh, okay, is that it? Hmm, okay, that doesn't seem to have done anything. So let's have a look at this again. Cross, crescent moon, star of David. I wonder why these symbols are here. Hmm, I don't, I don't think there's any more of them. Maybe the clue is in here. It reads, the second, address the arms upon the shields mm -hmm. and close the circle for the knights to let you pass. Close the circle? For the knights to let you pass. Uh, so that's star, moon, cross, star. So maybe we don't... Hmm. Are there like opposites or something going on here? Do we... Hmm. Okay, let's read that again, sorry. The second one. It reads, the second, address the arms upon the shields. Close the circle for the knights to let you pass. Close the circle? I don't, I don't know what close the circle means. Um, is there anything else on here which has those symbols? Let's just have a quick look. Don't see anything that has... We've got that. I the don't think that's going to be it. In 1307. The Templars must have known an attack was imminent, and took care the treasure would be safe. Okay. Cross, crescent moon, star of David. I wonder why these symbols are here. So, close the circle. It reads, the second, address the arms upon the shields, and close the circle for the knights to let you pass. Close the circle. Okay, so if it's... How do we close the circle here? Uh, so we've got... Is it... So... Star... Hmm. Let's look at it again. Cross, star, circle, cross. Cross, star, circle, cross. Cross, star, circle, cross. Cross, star, circle. So do we have to... Cross, star, circle, cross. So do we have to, like, do... Cross, star, do we, like, match it? Would that complete the circle to match it? Uh, let's try matching it. So, moon, cross... Cross... Star. Star. No. How do you complete the circle? That's the part I'm not quite sure about. Is it a case of... Let's, let's think about... Let's think about a circle. So do they go round? Is, is this like a beginning and an end and it goes round in a sequence? Is that what the circle is? So... Do we have to maybe track 
So star circle cross. Is there a star circle cross on here? Star circle cross star. Okay. So let's let's think about it as a circle, right? So star circle cross star again. So does this become a, a sorry, not a circle, a moon. Does this become a moon? And then does cross star maybe star and then a moon that can't be right can it no okay so it doesn't follow a sequence in in that sense uh, no okay so it doesn't follow a sequence like that necessarily so, oh, this is quite tricky, this puzzle, isn't it? Um, let's think. So it goes... Cross, crescent moon, star of David. I wonder why these symbols are here. I'm not really seeing any other way that could work. It reads, the second, address the arms upon the shields and close the circle for the knights to let you pass. Hmm. Okay. Close the circle. So, I mean, unless we, unless it's like a next in the sequence thing, so you get star followed by the moon, moon followed by the cross, cross followed by the star, can we, can we do that? Cross, cross gets followed by the star, the star, oh, That's done it. nice work. Uh, not what I had in mind, but it worked. I, I don't even know, maybe the last symbol was just on the right one and it was the following... Oh god, there's another one. <laughs> no. Right, so we've got blue and red... Oh, those are definitely on the manuscript. The blue and red things, they're here. Fleur de Lis in some pattern. Okay, now does part three... It reads, the third... Follow the master's worldly route and prove yourself worthy to lift. First, the fortress where he did fight, but was overwhelmed by Mamluk's might. Then he traveled to Longshank's fair city, and as grand preceptor he was received. To the temple at Vilnov, where he was appointed grand master of the order, before journeying to the island where he holds his court. I think the master must be Jacques de Molay. The fortress must be acre with the mention of Mamluks. Longshanks is easy, that's London. Temple is in France. Island Court. Which one could this be? I don't necessarily know that that's related to this particular puzzle, but what I'm going to write down is uh, red up, blue down, red up, uh, blue right, and then it looks like red and red goes left, but blue also goes right at the same time potentially. Not not that that makes a lot of sense at the moment, but fine. And then blue goes up, and then red goes left. God, I've write, written that really badly to the point where I can barely read it. <laughs> um, okay, let's see if that's like anything we can replicate on this. Uh, so we have, God, how do we, I'm guessing, okay, so that turns that, and then I'm guessing, what I want to do is, is turn this all the way round. So I'm guessing it goes one, two, three, four, but we'll just test that. Yeah, it does, okay. Um, so, how do, how do we do this? Let's try this out. Let's get it all the way back to where it was. So we want red facing up and blue facing down. I guess. Uh, and then we want red facing up and blue facing right. Okay. And then we want red facing left and blue facing right that doesn't really make sense does it uh okay now let's try moving red 
to point left. And blue to face right. And then blue to face up. And then red to face left. Is is that is that a thing? Is it a case of just programming it in like this? Okay, nothing seemed to happen there. Let's have a look another at this. Knight with a shield. Yeah, another knight with another a shield. Riddle I need to answer. Does seem that way, doesn't it? Uh, where's the mouse gone? There it is. <laughs> Alright guys, well, we're pretty much out of time anyway, so we'll try and figure this out in the next one. Maybe there's another clue in the manuscript that I haven't quite read yet, I don't know. Uh, but that's it for this one, so as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, and Kumadin. And I'll see you next time.